you guessed it, so today is all about Catrio. I have now been on this amazing medication for six months. Six whole months, so if you saw my previous video, which talks about my first month on Catrio, this is basically the update and answering all of your questions and basically, you know, the open honesty and being raw with you about how I found it, how I'm truly feeling and the reason why I believe that this drug is going to be the answer right now for people coming through with the younger generation. <clears throat> And also, I thought it would be appropriate. My homemade crumpet recipe, which I know has been asked for in the past. And I can guarantee these mm, are so much better. Sorry, more buttons. Move to one side, but also they are great to be having with your Catrio. I'm here to bring you inspiration in the best form possible from food. Mm, mm, mm. mm, mm. Alright, now I've got my snack. We will get right. So I'm just finding the questions for you. Um, there is a lot around weight gain, mental health. Um, and a lot around younger generations with CF, especially babies. So I'm just going to tick off the most asked questions and then I'm going to chat about, <clears throat> then I'm going to chat about how I am really feeling. So the first question is, have I had a sweat chloride test post calf trio? No, I haven't. So basically, when you are obviously diagnosed with CF, it can be done via a sweat test. And basically, the way CAFTRIO or TRICAFTA works is by correcting the malfunctioning CFTR gene, which is why we have a salty skin in the first place. So after taking CAFTRIO, my skin is not salty at all. I haven't done a sweat test, but from Relating it back to how my training is, how my salt levels are when I train, my needs for hydration, they have been completely transformed. I no longer um, have the salt that you need to brush off your skin. I no longer get cramps. Um, there are so many de benefits and this is why I am so excited about the incoming racing and competitive season or challenges that I have coming up because it's gonna be so interesting to see how my body feels in comparison to even less than a year ago. Okay, so the next question is, how are you feeling about where you are now versus this time last year? Kind of mentioned it there. I feel like a completely transformed person this time last year, without me even realizing it until now, until realizing and the effect of this drug, I was finding it hard to breathe, I was getting out of breath talking, running was becoming more difficult, although my lung function was still quite high. Obviously there was underlying things going on and all of those things have gone away. I have loads of energy, I don't need as much sleep. Obviously my weight has massively stabilized and become a healthier weight, which is amazing. I feel great, I can breathe deeper than I ever have done in my whole life. And generally, you know, I feel incredible and there has been the odd day that I've missed it for whatever reason and I noticed the difference straight away. This is how potent this medication is, which is crazy, almost scary, but it's amazing because it is going to save so many lives and I really hope that eventually there's going to be something out there for those people that cannot take this drug. The next question is, where was I apprehensive about coming off the other medications? So to give you a backstory, I've come off every medication aside from Creon, vitamins, and obviously Catrio Caladeco. I wasn't apprehensive, I felt amazing. To be honest, I forgot to take them sometimes. And what is the worst case scenario? I have to then retake them. So I was excited because the human body fascinates me and it fascinates me to see how it works, especially with a new medication, especially 
when you feel this damn good. So I wasn't worried. My doctors basically said, we'll try it. If it doesn't work, you'll have to take them. If it does work, then that's fantastic. So leading on from that, I've kind of answered what meds and nebs are you now on? So I am literally just on Calf Trio, Caladeco, Vitamins and Creon. So it literally takes minutes, literally less than a minute per day. Um, versus me being on 80 before. So that is the phenomenal thing. I was on three times the amount more Creon. I was taking Toby Pod Haler, Colomycin, DNAs, and amongst that, loads of antibiotics, all kinds of things. So it's just crazy how this one medication, three tablets a day essentially, has transformed everything and it will transform things going forward, especially for travel, for insurances. Even my hospital visits are now going to be every six months to a year unless I phone them. So life is changing. As we know it, and I really hope that you guys are finding the same thing. But I am also a firm believer that for this drug to work its best, we have to work with it. It's a miracle, but it's we essentially still have CF, which is why I'm a firm believer in being passionate about health and fitness and working with your body and giving it what it needs as while this medication is doing its thing. The next question is, do you think babies and children who start to have Caftria Young will have a reasonably normal life? 110% they will. Me or my generation CF have had to experience the hospital visits, the uncertainty, the being told that you're gonna die could become ultimately unlimited or limitless. And I believe that and I believe that it is coming and I believe it is a thing. So I know it's scary being born with a child with CF, but essentially, where what you have now and the opportunity you have now versus what I didn't have 30 years ago is insane. Of course, it's still scary. Of course, nobody really knows because we don't know how these medications affect people individually. But the future is bright. There is so much more hope and there is also so much more research still going on. So this is only the start. CF doesn't control us anymore and it won't. And also, the amazing thing is, is we can take our own lives into our own hands and starting young on these medications means that you won't have the lung, the lung damage, the issues, the infections, the coughs, the colds, the malnutrition. There is so much benefit to have happened with this medication and I know obviously it's scary but being born with CF today versus 30 years ago is a completely different story. Okay, so the next question is, how are your liver numbers doing? So every three months we have to have a blood test, obviously being given COVID and everything, we've had to do a finger prick at home. My liver numbers have always come back perfectly fine with no cause of concern, which I'm very grateful for. And long may that continue. The next question is, have you had any coughs and colds since starting CAF Trio? I haven't. I haven't actually coughed since the 5th of October 2020. I haven't coughed since the first day I've taken it really, other than to clear my throat, if just as a normal thing. I haven't coughed because of CF, I haven't had any infections. My lungs have felt strong and clear and super happy. And that in itself is mind blowing. Um, my body obviously feels very different and I'm still learning it to what it was but different in a very good and amazing way. Okay, so the next question is around weight gain and calf trio. Now, this is a really tricky subject because if you go back to when pre-calf trio or even when I was younger, we got told to get calories in, eat as much as you can because with cystic fibrosis and malnutrition and the lack of being able to absorb protein and fat, we just didn't absorb food, which means we were always under eight or struggling and I used to be eating over 3,000 calories a day just to maintain whereas now I don't have to do that even with the volume of training which is amazing and I feel so much healthier I'm in fact seven kilos heavier than I was which again is something to get used to but I feel so much healthier and so much better for it and essentially it's just a number on a scale and this is about how you feel as a person however this person has said how to lose weight because they've gained 10 kilos now, you know, this is a brand new way of having to learn your body and we're going to have to be eating more intuitively and essentially you need to be in a calorie deficit, you need to be moving your body, you need to be burning and obviously 
retraining your mindset with that. So essentially, you are wanting to lose weight because you have gained unwanted weight with Catrio. You just need to move a bit more, find a way of training you enjoy and sustain it three to four times a week. Eat sensibly, try and eat nat as much natural food as you can um, and basically join my app because there is 12 week programs on there, there's four week programs, there's strength, there's body weight, there's gym, there's home, there's a nutrition guide where you can work out exactly what you need and soon there will be loads of recipes for you to try. So basically guys, I'll put the link in the box below, go and check it out, the first month is only a dollar, I realise I'm plugging myself in my own video but it will help you and essentially I am here to help you and that goes for anybody who are wanting to start out training with CF. There is plenty on there for you to be doing. It's about starting where you are today and building on that as a strong base and the layers of fitness over time and essentially being the best you can be and building yourself to be the best version you want to be for you, mainly. But also, who doesn't want to feel good or move well? And let's celebrate that because it's something in CF that people didn't even realize was gonna be a benefit. But of course, if you are wanting more direct personal coaching, drop me a DM or email me. I'll put the email in the box below because I do have some slots open for online coaching as well. Um, the next question is, before you had Catherio, did you have bacteria con did you have bacteria colonized such as staph? are they going to disappear? Now, I can't really answer that for you personally. For me, I actually managed to get rid of um, all the bacteria that I had colonized before Catrio. Um, there was no evidence on them, even from a bronchoscopy point of view. So I believe that they will with Catrio because Catrio obviously clears your lungs out and if there's no, um, if there's nothing in there for bacteria to hold on to, then technically, they should they should eventually go but of course like within that we need to work with our bodies through movement and fitness and nutrition to make sure that we are giving it the best opportunity to do that and i believe we are able to do all these things but we just have to find out what works for us and for me i think it's just a combination of the fitness of the healthy eating of the routines that i have been putting in place um and yeah, I think, you know, we are able to do more than even we believe ourselves. Okay, so I'm not gonna make this video too long because um, essentially most of the things that I found the benefits of me were in the first month, but it doesn't seem to say that I haven't had loads of benefits since. Um, so firstly, my lung function is at the highest it's ever been in seven years. I'm a firm believer I'm not sharing this because there's no point in comparing. Let's just say it's over 100 um, and I feel phenomenal. Of course, I still have my days where I'm more tight chested. Sometimes it can be infected by, affected by the weather or it can be the fact that I didn't take enough fat with the drugs. Um, but essentially, I feel amazing and I still can't believe that from three tablets a day, um, I feel like this. But it gives so much hope for the future and I'm just really excited now the world is opening up and we can push ourselves because everyone out there, wherever you're starting from, you're able to build and become proud of the achievements that you've had and even push yourself further than you thought. Um, but some of the other benefits that perhaps I didn't even really think about that were gonna be benefit was my hair is much healthier, my skin is much better, my nails are healthier. I went to have my nails done the other day and the girl that does it was one of my best friends. She was like, I can't believe how healthy your nails are. Do you think it's because of the drug? And I was like, oh my God, like, Yes, I didn't even think like because obviously where our bodies are absorbing food better, of course, like it makes sense. Um, as I've mentioned, like I am the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life, but I'm happy like that. Yes, I'm not as lean, but I feel healthier. I feel more womanly because my boobs have grown, which is what I wanted. Um, and essentially, like we can control our weight. So if I did want to drop back a, a little bit, I can, but I feel great. My training has gone through the roof. I feel happier and healthier and I'm just so grateful for the opportunity that this medication has given me and will continue to give me going forward because I think 
you know, we can dig a bit deeper into our minds, our bodies, how far we can push ourselves just to see what we can really do. And it's like, it's going to be like an army of people who are coming through that nobody ever expected. And that is the most exciting thing because people eventually, like back in the day, were like, oh, people with CF, oh, they're going to die young, oh, they're ill, they're sick, they're this what, and the other. But they're, what they haven't realised is there's, there's beauty to be found in this situation because we have gone from this, this perception to well up here and you know we are going to be stronger than so many other people because even you know building muscle having cf before this medication it inhibits the way you can build muscle whereas now we are limitless and we are so used to having to struggle and push through and fight for every day well what happens if we then apply that to every single area of our lives we can literally basically be the CEO of our own lives and achieve anything we put our minds to. So if I was you, or if I was me, I'm doing this anyway, I would just make a list, a long list, a bucket list of things that you really want to do and just start today and start building. And it's all about you being able to take that one step, even if it's a percent per day, you're going to be 365% stronger or better or closer towards those goals in one year's time. So start today and I promise you that you will not regret it and this this is what this medication has given me and you and like the ability to be like I can have a long life even though I kind of always believed it now it's like well actually we can build a big life we can do everything we put our minds to we can do anything that we want like it's opened up the opportunity to live even bigger and the beauty of what we have is that we have a unique mindset on top of that and a gratitude and a zest for life and wanting to thrive so if you are on this medication let's go for it if you're not i really hope that something comes for you soon because i wish i could give you this feeling the only way i can kind of describe it to you is if i asked you to run down the road with an altitude mask and a corset on and then took it off and did the same thing the difference is phenomenal and even me today i have to remind myself of that because it's so easy to become complacent but we have to like sometimes remember where we come from but basically you know it's going to be amazing and i feel really good and i really hope that you guys on it feel really good as well and from what i can gather like the, the benefits just keep on coming even after six months i think you know the initial like bam into it massive changes but it's all the little things that come along the way like it's not going to take just one month or undo 29 years of what cf has been doing so let life unfold let's see how you feel in one year two years let's hope that we don't have to have hospital admissions extra tune-ups extra conversations with consultants or miss out on anything ever again and that is truly what i believe so I will keep you updated. I will do another update, perhaps after I've done a challenge, because it will be obviously be the second one post 50K. Um, and I just really hope that this video has given you some insight, some inspiration. If you haven't seen the first one, scroll back down on YouTube, find it, watch it. It is emotional and mind blowing. So thank you again for watching. Tag it, share it, save it, subscribe. Let's shout about it because we have well, there will be an army of people that are a force to be reckoned with. So I'll see you next week for the next video. Um, and before you go, here is the crumpets. You're going to want to make these yourself and you can thank me later.
I'm going to say this is my best one. And although it's not finished yet, I am bloody proud of my efforts. You honestly can't beat a good crumpet. So I'm going to thoroughly enjoy these. And I suggest that you go make them because, oh my God, they are so much better homemade and so fresh. And you can keep them in your freezer for three months. Oh, so good. So these down just need to go in the toaster to crisp them up and then they are done. Honestly, I'll put the recipe up on the next screen. Honestly, go make it. There is no looking back.